contact. This is true. I'm you gonna got start so recording. many things to look at in here. That's true. That's true. This will be a. It's a good situation for my autistic ass to have an interview where I don't have to worry about eye contact. You got the salve the dog office. I do. Salve the office. I do. It's true. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Salvia Hunda and I make music as Mail Pup and Salve the Dog. Uh, main alias Salve the Dog, but everyone knows me as Mail Pup because life has funny circumstances. <laughs> and I'm Alexander Like a Wolf. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. It's us. Here we are. It's us. Here we are. Good morning, Sunday morning. Good morning, starshine. Who is Salve the Dog? Salve the dog, as in the as in me, or as in the alias. Yes. Okay. So Salve the dog is a energy ball full of light, full of uh, high decibels, full of uh, childlike wonder, whimsy, yes. and full of and full of vengeance. Um, Salve the dog is. Um, essentially just like my heart my spirit without anything in the way like a bit or anything because mel pop i'm just having silly fun but solid dog is like my true like artistic expression um usually I i'd like to take it in the future to be like uh a more silly fun loving self-embracing thing uh but for now it's um a lot more dark because uh just the place that i'm in so salva dog follows me wherever i go essentially real understandable how how stuff like that goes <laughs> who is male pup male pup uh male pup is a male dog uh who is coming from a long family line m-a-i-l m-a-i-l <laughs> yes male pup is a, a male dog coming from a long line of male dogs. It is the family business, and uh, she's not about that. She likes to make music. She wants to be a rave DJ, but she's stuck in this dead-end job, so she modded the inside of her mail truck to be a studio, and she makes bangers from her mail truck during her off time and break time. Fuck yeah. Getting, getting some male pub lore. Yeah, yeah, that's the lore. I didn't, I didn't know that bit. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's the whole bit. Um, uh, sh- is there a question asking how I came up with that? Should I save that for later, or can I tell you now? No, you can go ahead and say so. Okay, so I was driving around, right? So Mail Pup started, um... I gave the character lore answer, and now I can just give, like, the actual answer. So Mail Pup started, uh... I... It, so, so for the longest time, and this probably sounds so stupid, uh, because of everything that I am now, but there was, there was a time when I was, like, 18, 17, that I was, that I was, like... I don't want to be a furry musician. No one's going to take me seriously. I'm going to get roped into just being able to play furry conventions. Like, I don't want that. That's a depressing, horrifying life. Like, no, honey. And so I was thinking that Salve the Dog... Yeah, I'm not a furry musician, but it's called Salve the Fucking Dog. Right. Um, that was going to be my serious music alias. Um, but I still had this side of me that I really wanted to explore and be silly. I was listening to, like, a lot of lap fox and shit. So I had the idea, like, oh, I should just make, like, a secret alias that no one will know, and it'll just be for me. I'll be Salve the Dog, maybe sometimes I'll do a secret male pup show at a convention where no one will know it's me. Um, and it'll be like my little way to have fun in private. And then that's the one that ended up blowing up. Right, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, I, am, I am happy about that. It, it's, it's a blessing and a curse for different reasons. Um, but I try to see it more in the blessing side. But, um, yeah, I, uh, so the idea, I was, I was sitting here thinking, like, okay, I need, I need a character, I need to have an alias for this other kind of music that I'm making, like, my furry side, what am I, what am I gonna do? And I, I, I never want to force things, which is why it takes me so fucking long to make music, because, mm-hmm. like, I never, like, sit down and force out things, I just, I wait for them to come to me, right. which sometimes is why my album is literally take, like, often, like, years, because I just, I can't really grind things out, my brain doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, but that's, that's a good way to avoid, like, burnout. Yeah, <laughs> and especially with names, especially, especially with names, I've always waited for, like, project names, album names, everything, waited for them to come to me, mm-hmm. um, which can take a very, very long time. Uh, and so one time I was driving around town, uh, and I was, I was, I was in, like, a left turn lane at an intersection, just thinking, like, what the fuck am I gonna name myself? 
And in the other left turn lane to my right, this mail truck pulls up to the stoplight and it's blasting loud electronic music. And I just like look at it and I'm like, oh, the entire thing just came to me. Like the entire fucking idea just came to Hell me. Hell yeah. It was, it was, it was divine intervention. I, I want, I hope that mail, that mail truck is having a great time. Fuck yeah. Should have, should have got like the truck number or something. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to find you and I'm going to, I'm going to, hey man. You inspired You're me. the vision. You're the vision. Yeah, no, if you're a mailman in Frisco, Texas, and you like loud electronic music, you probably uh, created Mail Pup inadvertently. Godspeed. Godspeed to that mailman. Honestly. We love our post, post work. We do. Yes. We do. All right. First question that I have. What's your opinion on the sun? On the sun? Yes. As a Texan, um, <laughs> I... <laughs> I uh, Oh, the sun. The sun. I think she's so important. I'm a fan of her work, but uh, I wish I wasn't in her. I, I, I wish I, I wish I could appreciate her from afar. I, I feel like the sun is someone who does very influential work, very important work, but I wish I could appreciate her more as an artist and not be as close to her inner circle as I found myself being through right. living here. Yeah. I don't know um, the connections of my dad's job um, ending up moving us to Texas. I think th- through my dad's business those decisions ended up bringing me close to the sun's inner circle. Mm-hmm. I wish I could just be more of a, more, more of a fan than an orbiter. Right. Yeah. Um, but I guess we're all orbiters of her in the end. This is true. This is true. Um, I think I, I just, I, I do think that she's kind of, she kind of tries too hard in the South and that's, that's okay. That's okay. It's still, it's, she's doing important work. Um, I'm actually going to turn the game down a little bit because I can see I'm clipping a little bit. You're turning the gay down. No, never. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, I, I think, I think, um, I would appreciate her work more if I was in the North. Yeah. Understandable, understandable. All right. And really, honestly, if she stopped tag teaming with water, that would yeah. be fine. Cause if she wants to just do her own thing, that's fine. But when it's humid, it's, when they, it's, I, don't it's like humid no. I don't like their relationship. I don't like their relationship one bit. No. I think it's toxic. I think it's very overpowering. Um, I have to hear about it when I go outside. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Everyone talks about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's not, I'm not a fan. Yeah. All right. Favorite Saw movie? Ooh. Ooh. And why? Okay. (laughs) Saw 6 is probably my favorite Saw movie. Um, Okay. Well, fuck. Okay. Piranha. So, I... It's a t- okay. It's it's always a battle between Saw Six and Saw X. Mm-hmm. Um, Saw Six, just because I love the dynamic so much. I think the whole format of it being the insurance guy having to like go through all of his coworkers, um, and just like I, I I think a lot of times Jigsaw tries to make a point, and oftentimes it's a very stupid point. Mm-hmm. It's like I just I despise murder. Like shut up, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. When, when Saw plays the whole morality thing, I think it's incredibly dumb. But Saw Six and Saw X, I'm not realizing one of the things that they have in common is that Jigsaw's morality holds up, and it's one that like, I just think that the the people in Saw X are so deeply like, I don't know, they, they they they're very human. Their problems are very real, and of course the fucking carousel scene, which is my mm-hmm. favorite trap in the entire series. Um, not counting the reverse bear trap because it's the coolest shit I've ever seen. Right. Um, just the whole scene of the carousel is like one of the most intense things I've ever seen. I remember I saw it with Noelle um, and we, we literally like, I, I remember like we were both like holding our breath during that entire five minutes. And when it was done, when the last guy gets shot, we just started like laughing hysterically from all the pent up, like freaking out energy mm-hmm. we had. I think Saw X is fantastic. I think Saw 6 is fantastic. Saw X on the other hand has the best writing. Um, the characterization it gave Jigsaw and Amanda, but especially Jigsaw is just phenomenal and everything that my little Amanda loving heart could ask for. Mm-hmm. Um, again, the the reason that he was doing these traps is very understandable to an extent. Um, the, the writing, I adore. I think Saw X has the best writing. It has the most fucked up traps too. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen it three times now and every single time I still, it's probably the only one that I have to look away from. Like, I can watch all of the Saw series fine, but Saw X I actually have to look away from for several scenes. Like, I can see the rack. I can watch the rack, no biggie. But, like, two traps in Saw X. Like, three! Three traps in Saw X I just cannot fuck with. Um, Understandable. And so, like, I love it for that. 
But I just think Saw 6 is such a good movie. Because Saw X is always, like, it's like the fan service one, right? Like, it's like, everyone was waiting for it. It's so much character development. It's so much growth. It's so much incredible writing. But Saw 6 is just, like, if you think of a Saw movie. If I want to see a Saw movie, I'm going to go for 6. Because, mm. like, I'm going to want to see Crazy Traps, Crazy Interactions, a great fun time. I'm not going to necessarily want to see a full hour of exposition any given day. Right. Which is incredible, but just, like, not what I want, usually. Right. For Saw, at least. Those two, for for different reasons. Got it. Scourge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the, the Scourge question mark. Scourge. Yes, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. So, um, immediately in my vicinity, I have uh, my Scourge collar yes. that my wonderful boyfriend made me. Thank you so much. I have um, my... Uh, I have I have my my Scourge the Rise of Scourge uh, manga which I love so much. It's actually one of my most prized possessions. Um, I got this at Half Price Books, and um, the it has this on the cover from whoever owned it before me. That's so cute. I know, I know. I'll put up a picture. I'll, I'll send you a picture. That is adorable. And like oh when my I, god. When I saw th- there were two books at half price. One did not have anything wrong with it and the other had these little doodles in it. And I was like, this is the most precious thing yeah. ever to me. So thank I'm you, very happy I about it. I assume Eden B. Yeah, thank you Eden B. Um, but yeah, Scourge is uh, my favorite character in anything ever. Uh, I'm literally him. Uh, I, if, if I ever had to be a kin, I would kin Scourge. Uh, sometimes I, I find myself drawing the line dangerously close between loving this character and, like, actually, like, it being a kin thing. Uh, right. Uh, if I ever was going to have a kin thing, it would definitely be Scourge. I just... I... I remember loving him equally as much as a kid, and I was worried going in on my adult reread that actually really made me into, like, a serious Warriors fan. Because I was like, I hope I still like him. I hope he doesn't end up just being like a horrible person. Mm -hmm. Because I had this idea of him built in my head. And I was like, I don't want to lose that. And then I read it. I read the books. And it literally just made me love him like tenfold even more. And justified all my thoughts. Uh, I think he is a good guy. I don't think Scourge is a villain. I really don't. Um, He just wanted to share... He could have had a better time sharing because right. he did try to kick everyone out. So I, I shouldn't say he wanted to share, but I do think that there's something very stupid about clan life. I think it's very, very dumb. Um, and it, it's such a traditionalist thing, right? Mm-hmm. And like, and it's one of the first things that Firestar asks before he's even Firepaw, just like asking Blue Star, like, why don't we all just share? And Aaron Hunter right. immediately through Blue Star just dismisses it. And it's just like, you you would you wouldn't understand kitty pet and then it's like that's just like a prime part of the warrior code where like every newcomer that's not a warrior is like why don't y'all just share and it's like oh you wouldn't even begin to understand but they never go into it right. like the fact of the matter is it is a huge like ecosystem it's like the woods there's there's trees there's a river there's plains there's like so much shit that every cat individually would benefit so much for and like the whole thing where like only oh, only river clan cats can learn how to swim or like like no like right. everyone should know how to swim like if all the fucking cats just shared knowledge and shared resources it would be a utopia mm-hmm. but of course it, it's literally like anti-communist yeah. the whole, like it's a bunch of fucking it is, like isn't it? it's a bunch of fucking traditionalist cats that are like oh no don't cross this border it's just the, the cats is on the other side of this river they're evil they're Damn. stinky yeah, shadow cats. They have a smell to them. Like, what Scourge the fuck? Is a like, real communist. no. Yes, he's a real yes, comrade. He was. He comes <laughs> along. He he's from the streets, where he is trying. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking try. He escaped and is trying to band together these abandoned pets. Cause Blood Clan is literally just abandoned pets. Mm-hmm. It's it's pets that were abandoned, pets that ran away from home, stray pets that have never known like love and safety. It's all these animals that are like suffering and he brings them together and finds out about this place where like there's so much resources right you know what this sounds a lot like what fight club fight club (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah his his name was scourge um but uh but like he comes along and he's like hey this is like everyone's now this is everyone's now and they're like no these are our woods Scourge could have been fixed. Uh, my boyfriend said this so poetically, and I'm, I'm never letting go of it. Scourge could have been fixed with a bowl of soup and some love. 
Yeah. He just, he, he was just abused. And like, what does he do in the series? He shows up, kills a Nazi, and then dies. Like, what do you mean he's a bad guy? Real. But yeah, no, I love him so much. I'm like if Scourge was a girl. I, I had Ken <laughs> I had Ken in myself as the medicine cat of Blood Clan. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a redeemed River Clan medicine cat. Okay. Defected and is defected. now and is now a uh, Blood Clan medicine cat. Okay. But in if I had a choice, I would fuck. I don't know. It's, it's Scourge is one of those characters where it's like, do I want do I want you or do I want to be you? Right? Like yeah. like do I do I want to be a medicine cat? And like help Scourge and live with him, or do I want to just be Scourge? That's that is the question. Right. If I was a guy, it would just be I want to be Scourge. <laughs> the only thing stopping me is gender. D- doesn't it? D- yeah, for, no. For, 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 yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I get it. I get you. All right. What's your go-to beverage? Uh, Monster Energy Ultra Rosa. Okay. The Ultra Rosa Monster is the best. Um, I don't think I've tried that one. You want a sip? Yeah, sure. I'll take a sip. <laughs> that is quite nice. I love it so much. It's on brand. It has like little flowers all over it. It's perfect. It's pink. It's just like me for real. Mine, my current, one of my current favorites is the Ultra Strawberry Dream. Have you tried this one? I have. I do like it. Uh, it really caught me off guard because I hate strawberry sorry, flavoring. Sorry, I'm not sick, by the way. I know I put my mouth all over Oh, that. you're good. But you're sorry you're not sick? It's good that you're not sick. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, like, I it, am not sick. <laughs> it's, it's pink, so I want to love it. Um, but I was nervous because I was like, damn it, why does the cute pink one have to be strawberry? I fucking hate strawberry flavor. But it's good. Yeah. It's actually it's, good. It doesn't taste super strawberry. It's not my go-to, but it's good. So I think my go-to drinks are either... Um, a Monster Ultra Rosa or a Lavender Oat Milk Latte. Okay. Denton folks yeah. call that a Sister Rosetta. Yeah. <laughs> if they're not a little bitch. Right. I want, a, I, want a, I want an Oat Milk Lavender Latte. Get the fuck out of here, Jupiter House. Shut up. <laughs> this is an Aura household. I, have you ever, like, ordered a coffee and the person's like, do you want oat milk? Just, like, automatically assumes. Because yeah. I once went to a Starbucks here, um... <laughs> Back in the day before the strike. <laughs> and it was the one in the union, I believe. It comes with the pronouns. Oh, no. And I was like, hey, I want, can I get, can I get a iced, some, some fuck, fuck off drink uh, with soy milk? Mm-hmm. And the, the barista goes, you know, we have, we have oat milk. <laughs> I shit you not. I just like looked at me, d- didn't even like give me a glance, like a once over or anything. It was just like. You know we have oat milk. Oh, so there's there's something there's something so uniquely devastating about being clocked in a unique way. Yeah. Like being clocked in a non-body or gender way. Uh, did I ever tell you my Lane story? I don't think so. Would you like Lane's to hear chicken? it? No, Lane like the anime. Oh, Lane. Yeah. Uh, I maybe. Would you like to hear the worst time I've ever been clocked? Yeah, sure. So, uh, I'm having a bad night. Get, get ready, Salve Nation. Yeah, There's get ready. And so I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm having a bad night. I'm having a really bad night. I had a very rare argument with, with my partner. Um, it, well, I, it wasn't a good time. I'm thinking, I gotta treat myself. I'm gonna go, it's, I know it's Thursday night. It's karaoke night at Tom's. Right. I'm gonna go to Tom's. I'm going to get a drink. I'm going to do some karaoke. I'll feel better. I'm going to wear a nice outfit. I'll feel good. I'm on top of my shit. I was here for this. You were not here for this. Was I might I... have told No, I, I was alone. Oh, okay. I was entirely alone. I swear, maybe I have heard this. But... I might have told you, but for the sake of the interview, the I think it's important for this knowledge I've, like, to be known. I've forgotten the details. So, uh, <laughs> so I, 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 I put on a nice outfit. I put on my candy. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fucking go. I'm, I'm like actually presenting femme which is rare for me because i don't usually have the either courage energy or time for it Mm -hmm. um so i go to tom's and i walk in and immediately there is a guy that is doing the theme song of lane um duvet by boa phenomenal song outside of the anime even just listen to boa phenomenal phenomenal song but it is the lane theme song and it is known as the lane theme song so like if you're singing boa like it's lane like that, that that's why you're doing this um, so I see him immediately. My whole mood improves. I light up. I look him in the eyes and I start sing like lip syncing with him mm-hmm. and he's smiling at me and shit. And we're having a great fucking time. I'm cheering him on. Right. Right. The song ends. I'm thinking, man, we have something good going on right here. I walk up to him. I say, that was amazing. I love Lane. He looks me in the eyes and says, I know you love Lane. <laughs> oh my God. 
I've never recovered from that. Damn. Yeah, that might that might not make sense to cis people, but trans girls will understand why that's the most brutal thing I've ever been told in my life. Yeah. I would have rather been called a, a T slur at that point. Y- yeesh. I got a hand to it. That's the funniest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah, it is comical. <laughs> He did invite me to dance later that night, though, so I don't know what the fuck he was on. I don't know what his energy was or what he was trying to give to me. Um, I don't know. He did, he did invite me to a slow dance later in the night. Okay. It was very strange. Right. Understandably so. <clears throat> All right. On average, how much do you think you spend on waffles? <laughs> You've asked me this at an opportune time. Me and Gianni just bought four boxes of protein waffles at Aldi. Uh, a f- like like a few days ago so waffles i love waffles obviously but i am very afraid of empty carbs Mm. i don't have them often um they just scare me i don't i don't like having empty carbs everything that i have that's usually carb is like a carb emulator like instead of pasta i get chickpea pasta Mm. shit like that because i'm a vegetarian so i have like very little opportunities to have protein so if i have a chance to have protein instead of carbs i will take it because i it's all i can eat that has nutrition Mm -hmm. um but Aldi, one of the Aldi finds that comes every few months is protein waffles. Okay. It's like a good amount of protein. I think like 12 grams of protein for a waffle, which is like, like really. per waffle? Yeah. God yeah. And a damn, serving size is like, two waffles. It's good shit. It's, it's like, like a, a meal. It's like a full protein bar. <laughs> exactly. But it's a waffle and it doesn't even taste bad. It tastes like a waffle. And so whenever, whenever it comes back in stock, we literally buy like the entire stock, which is maybe mean for other people, but I need this. Yeah. Um, so we literally just cleared out house and got protein waffles. Um, and, uh, so I never buy waffles outside of that unless I'm going to like waffle house. Mm-hmm. But when I do buy waffles, I fucking buy waffles. You don't play around with the I don't waffles. play around with the Aldi waffles. So I want to say like a good, like $15 a month, but spread out every other month or so. Right. So you have to, you have to wait for the stock. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's a good question, this is though. It's the most seen kid answer ever. I, I'm glad. I'm glad. I have a, I have a brand to I have a brand to hold up. Uh, speaking of, what's it like being the most base seen kid ever? That's high praise. I would have <laughs> I would have denied you. I would have I would have gotten all bashful and said no. You're wrong. You're just flattering me. Like a week ago, but a few days ago, one of the best things that's ever happened to me happened. And I am starting to actually embrace that I might actually be a scene kid. Because I like, I, I like scene core. I fuck with scene core so hard. I know that there's a whole thing with, like, old heads. Like, fuck scene core. It's, like, just, like, poser kids making, like, stupid electronic music. It, it is kids yeah. making electronic music. It's not scene music. But we're not saying we're scene music. It's scene core for a reason. Things yeah. evolve. Sounds evolve. People have fun with things. I think it's really annoying when old heads in general, like, talk shit on any new evolution. Mm -hmm. But I also think it's really important to pay respect to what you're actually utilizing. Right. Because a lot of scene core is just uh, privileged uh, suburban kids pretending to cut themselves for clout. Uh, which is a horrible thing to say, but listen to any fucking scene core song and it'll just be the most sexualized of scars. Like, I make my own scene core playlist to avoid trauma. Because I'm not kidding, one in six scene core singles on Spotify that'll pop up, literally the single cover is a uncensored picture of actively cutting wrists. I can't fucking look at that. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm fucking total tangent. Um, because of that, I've been doubting myself. I've been thinking like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just being a poser, aren't I? I wasn't there for like the scene. I was just like the fucking goody two shoes as a kid. I wasn't actually living it. I wasn't there. I wasn't real. Right. I'm just being a poser. Earlier this week, I wake up and the first thing I see is uh, I got followed by I set my friends on fire and I immediately um, scream and fucking like writhe my way out of bed waking up Gianni and I go downstairs and I run around and I scream. This motherfucker is one of the original MySpace scene musicians Mm -hmm. and I I just send a message and I'm like, thank you so much. Your music is really inspirational like for me. Uh, and, And so he's like... And so he sends me a message back and he's like, thank you so much. I'm so glad that we could have inspired you in any way. Like, I think you're like keeping the spirit alive. And I literally cried all day because of that. Cause that's like one of the literal pioneers of like my favorite genre that I'm trying to get into saying Mm -hmm. that I'm like keeping the spirit real. Like I'm going to hold on to that till I'm fucking, oops, sorry for bopping the microphone. I'm going to hold on to that till I'm fucking dead. Yeah. 
so I think I might be based. I think I might be the most. <laughs> I think I might be the most based scene girl ever. Um, I wouldn't say ever. I think um, I'm doing something new with it. I'm having mm-hmm. fun. I don't think that there's like I haven't seen any furries that are in this scene. It's mostly just cishet white boys that are um, stuffing right. like six Kleenex tissues up their nostrils and being like. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to impersonate it because because <laughs> I do want to collab with people and my go to right. scene core impersonation is an artist that I do like that I would like to collaborate with someday. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no shit. Maybe I am kind of based. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I want more money to go to Hot Topic because I don't fucking dress like I'm the most based scene kid ever. But online, I might take that. I might take that crown. Yeah. I wouldn't I have taken it should. last week, but I, I'm starting to. I'm starting to. It's starting to get harder to deny it. Yeah. In, in my defense, whenever I think scene, not, I, I don't know if it's in my defense, but whenever I think scene, I think like, like Hello Kitty t-shirt. Yes. Um, ripped, like I'm thinking suburban scene where you wanted to be a scene kid because that you felt like that was your people, but your mom wouldn't let you have a scene exactly. phase. Exactly. So I'm comparing it to my sister's scene phase, who she had the had the bangs, had the the raccoon tail dye. Oh my god. Um, the candy. I admire that so much. But she didn't have the whole like hot topic outfit. She had a Hello Kitty, like a hot pink Hello Kitty T-shirt, and black and white checkered vans and ripped skinny jeans oh my god that's and amazing. that is what i think whenever i think scene and that's not poser scene that's like actual like you you were having the the phase you were having Fuck the yeah. life and that's my, where i'm at right now i hope yeah my my scene phase was um i wasn't allowed to cut my hair like that i wasn't allowed to paint my nails i wasn't allowed to dye my hair that sucks. um so i would just listen to my edgy music and be like yeah i'm so i'm so emo i'm so seen school bus head against the window type shit yeah getting a headache from all the rumbles and every bump in the wind every bump in the road is giving you a bigger headache but you stare out the window and picture yourself in the music video yes yeah um and uh in hindsight i was more of a more of an emo kid than a scene kid because apparently there's a distinction between them i couldn't tell you what the distinction is but Aesthetic wise, very similar if you squint. <laughs> um, so if, you, if you squint, all the bright colors and dark colors kind of like mix together into like a oh, yeah, we're both sad and we have people around us that let make me, us shut up Discord. Let me turn on Do Not Disturb, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, you squint and you're like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm sad and there's people around me who are also sad, but we're together about it. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Life is beautiful. Truly. What other questions do I have? <clears throat> Hopefully a lot more. This is fun. One of the one of them just is why. Because what the fuck is the point if I don't? Um Yeah. I I think there's a lot of shit I'm going through and there's a lot of shit similarly that a lot of people that I would care about are going through. Mm-hmm. Um and if it's gonna be this much, then why not? the alternative is curling up and crying and dying um right yeah uh, cuz i have no cuz i have no other choice my only other it's it's the only choice i have yeah real that that made me think of a tweet i saw the other day that um it was someone's uh experience with finding like what the fuck i literally <laughs> trying to do not disturb i'm turning off my fucking ipad hang on you're good this bitch this fucking ipad I don't know how, I turn on Do Not Disturb, and then it doesn't. Oh, it's off. I thought it would link up to my, never mind. Anyways. Fuck an iPad. <laughs> um, the, the tweet was like, um, <clears throat> realizing, because someone else said, like, if you're trans, that means you want to live. I saw that. Um, I'm still pondering over that in my head. It was yeah. pretty intense. Uh, it, it literally made me, like, just, just sit and think for a little bit, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. We're not, we're literally every moment, every choice we make, we're actively choosing to yes. be this life. Mm-hmm. We're not passerbys to our own life like so many people are. We're not just going with life. We're actively choosing our own life. 
to a literal fundamental biological level or even cultural social level if it's not biological because fuck biology who fucking cares right fuck biology (laughs) (laughs) until it's convenient for me (laughs) and that's what these liberals want that's what the the woke left that's what the woke left wants i used to be able to change my gender not anymore that's what they want you, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> um, how'd you meet fentanyl? How'd I meet fentanyl? Yeah. Okay. So, I... Okay. It's... Oh, man. It's a crazy... Fucking... It's crazy to me. It's so crazy to me. Um, my partner is at work. He's working a morning... A rare morning shift. So, I wake up. Um, already, step one of why this shouldn't have happened. Because um, usually my mornings are... I wake up, and then me and my partner stay awake in bed until noon, just fading in and out of consciousness, cuddling, and then going back to sleep, and then mm-hmm. we should really get out of bed, and then going to sleep again. Right. <laughs> Shit like that. But it was a very rare morning shift for him. So I woke up, and immediately I just start going on my phone, because I don't have to worry about waking him up. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just, like, browsing on YouTube idly. And in the recommended, um, in, this, in, in, like, the sidebar, um, I see uh, the EP upload that just came out. Uh, this was in, like, mid-September. Uh, and I see a recommended video that is Femtonal Chaser, full EP. And so my YouTube for the past few months at this point had been recommending me a different random two subscribers furry musician. And I would check on it because I try to be like current in my community and I try to see people. I see like, oh, hey, maybe it's like something that I should like boost up or something. Mm-hmm. I want to support my community and see what the new people are doing. And it's usually, like, not the best um, because, you know, they have a lot to grow. Um, And so, like, I kind of just, like, I I very, very rarely listen to new music with my autism. I just, like, I latch on to, like, my five artists at a time. And I it's just, like, a comfort thing. I don't know. I just, I I have a very hard time listening to new things, right? But the the name Femtonal Chaser was way too funny for me (laughs) to, like, not immediately, like, latch on to. So I tap it expecting to click off in like a minute because it's a full ep i'm not gonna listen i just woke up Mm -hmm. i just woke up if i was wide awake i probably wouldn't listen to a full ep of someone that i don't know yet immediately it catches my attention immediately i'm like this is some of the most exciting cool electronic music i've listened to in a very long time um and so i go on spotify to check and she has 1.5 thousand monthly listeners. So immediately I'm thinking, what what the fuck? Like, mm-hmm. this, like, needs to be heard. This is incredible. And I kind of feel bad at how small she is. You can imagine how strange that is for me to say that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so I, I end up <clears throat> looking to see if she's on any social media. So I look her up on Twitter. And she is on Twitter. And I tweet out at her. Um, I could actually find the exact tweet. Um, (laughs) I can, and I can pull up a screenshot for the video if you'd like. Um, for sure. It's in my bookmarks, so it shouldn't take very long to find it. But I, I, the gist of it, I just want to reach out and be like, hey, wow. Uh, because it really blew my mind. I I ended up listening to the entire thing, by the way. Mm -hmm. It took, I didn't, I woke up early, I woke up early that day. I didn't get out of bed until like an hour later because I literally listened to the entire thing in bed. I could not stop listening to it. I was like infatuated by it. Goddamn. No, it was fucking good. <laughs> I, I literally like, I was like, like, shit, I'm like obsessed. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? EP. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, so September 24th, 2023 at 823 in the morning, I tweet at her, uh, at Femtonal, your EP is so cool. Holy shit, you are good. Literally two minutes after I sent that, <laughs> two minutes after I sent that, she says, OMG, OMG, thank you so much. You're a big inspiration for me. Thank you. Immediately, oh, I'm I losing my this. mind. I'm losing my fucking yeah. mind because I'm like, you know me? You fucking know who I am? And I inspired this? Because like that was better than anything I've ever made. There's no fucking way that I inspired that to any extent. So I literally just say, what? And I send the fucking like, like freaking out cat gif because I'm in genuine disbelief. And she says, yeah, I loved your stuff for a while now. Thank you for all the great tunes. Um, 
and I'm just like, my mind is fucking blown. <laughs> Apparently, she had been listening to me since Stay at Home Summer 2020, which blows my fucking mind because no one listened to me back then. So she was one of my first fucking fans. She'd been listening to me for three years and is finally making music. So I reach out and I'm like, this is fucking incredible. And immediately we start DMing each other, talking, hanging out. Um, and we're very quick to realize, oh, you're cool. I like you, actually. Um, I immediately invite her to be on my next Mail Pop album, and she's very excited about that. Um, and that's kind of it for, like, a, a day, not even. I think it actually was same day, so never mind. Uh, we, um, we joke that we uh, ran the doxing speed run because the, <laughs> the first day that we met each other, um, she was selling a really cool fucking shirt, um, and I wanted it very badly, but I'm completely broke. And I wasn't, I was so worried this would be a shitty thing to ask, but I reach out and I'm like, hey, I'm selling a shirt too. Do you want to trade shirts? And she <laughs> loved the idea. So we traded shirts, but to do that, we had to give each other our addresses and full names. Right. But like, we immediately trusted each other. So it was like, I've never given someone my fucking address this fast in my life. Um, but that's how we met each other. Um, and we just started talking to each other more and more. And the more we talked, the more we realized like, oh, I actually fucking love you. Like, this is like one of the coolest people I've ever met. Um, and now, and now we're besties and I'm very happy about it. And also she is, um, extremely popular, which is very freaky. Cause I remember at the start of our friendship, I was literally like, I want to help build you up. I'm going to put you on my album. I'm going to get some eyes on you. And now I'm like, well, can I, can I, can I be on your song now? <laughs> with, with all, with all 150,000 people watching you, can I, can I, like, it's like insane. It's mm -hmm. insane. I'm so fucking proud of her. But that's how we met. Literally a YouTube recommendation that I would have never seen or listened to by any means. Uh, and now, now we're besties. It's crazy. Fuck yeah. Small world. Crazy things. I know, right? I'm so happy that I got to find her before like anyone else did. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> right. I've been, a, I've been a fentanyl day one. <laughs> Let's see. Well, Shout out, Noelle. Love you, girl. That was all the questions that I had written on my phone. There's more in my book back at home. I can pull some out of my ass if you wish. Sure, I'm um, also down to pause while you get your book bag. I don't care either way. It's Oh, you said at home? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so, <clears throat> I'm just going to start ripping shit out of my ass. Go for it. Uh, let's see, let's see. Probably something in here. Like <laughs> <clears throat> What's on your ceiling? What is that? That is a dart map. Um, that is the That is the system... That is the system map of the Dallas area rapid transit uh, train system, public transit system. I am extremely transit slash map autistic. I am one of those kinds. Uh, <laughs> I'm that I'm that flavor of autism. Right. Um, as a little kid, the first thing I ever did on the computer was play on Google Earth. Google Earth was my toy, and I still do that shit now. I have Google Earth on my fucking desktop, and if I have nothing to do, I probably will be scrolling around on Google Earth. Um, Google Maps more these days because Google Earth is kind of stagnating and right. like if it's Google Maps I can click on something I see and immediately be taken to search about it you can't really do that on Google Earth um, but yeah I uh, I got that funny story I effective January 24th 2022 I found myself having nothing to do one day and I was like fuck it they let you have student tickets if you get a student card I'm going to take the train to downtown Dallas to get my ID because I want to get a student ID at DART. So I take like, I spend like, I go on the A train from the A train to the DART, the DART to the DART shop, which is like an hour and a half trip. Mm -hmm. took so fucking long because it's wildly inefficient. Um, but I had nothing to do that day. So I just went and I'm at the DART shop and they just have like these massive maps. And I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'll take a map while I'm here. Um, but I didn't have anywhere to put it. So I was like, where do I want this to be? Fuck it, ceiling. Because there's like no more space in my room, right? right. I'm, I'm a decoration maximalist for sure. Um, so I sometimes... I support, I, I support posters on the ceiling. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I immediately, I, I just tacked it to my ceiling. Uh, and I like to look up and look at the map sometimes. Oh, you gotta fix one of the corners. I do. I'm procrastinating really oh, badly. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm very bad at doing things. <laughs> Hmm. It's very autistic in here. Thank you. I, I try. <laughs> this is part of the reason why I wanted to interview in the Solve the Dog office. <laughs> uh, because it's so autistic in here. Thank you so much. 
and there's a lot of things to look at so I can pull things out of my ass a bit easier. <laughs> um, let's see. Hey, I did that one. Yes! I'm still trying to find like how I want to frame it. I really want to put it on something protective so it doesn't knock anything off. So right. I'm putting it in my Kate Bush corner of treasured objects that I don't have a space for yet. <laughs> the Kate Bush corner of treasured objects. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> All right. Um, there's there's duct tape on your first suit head. There wasn't duct tape on it last time I was here. Mm -hmm. So how's that going? Badly. Y yeah. Badly, very badly. I, I know the whole shit behind it. There's the whole YouTube video about mm. it. My friend... Uh, was gonna help me build it but we're just both busy and also he's always busy and I just I don't know I don't know how the fu I'm not crafty I don't I, I could pro I could probably figure out how to build a fursuit I don't know because like he was gonna offer to help me finish the suit mm -hmm. but he's telling me to do these steps that I am so inexperienced and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing but the tape you tape over the entire thing to mm -hmm. essentially create a sewing pattern because then right, you have yet, to you you you, ta yes. you cut the tape off and you cut darts out for it so you can trace the tape pieces onto paper and then cut the fur on that paper. Mm -hmm. I don't have fucking time for that. I right. I I'm a student. Maybe this summer, but by then I don't even know if he's gonna still live here. So I'm, I'm just I've just given up on having a furry head, which is so fun because I'm a prominent furry artist now and I don't have a fur suit. I go to a convention and I don't have a fur suit and I spent three hundred dollars and I don't have a fur suit, but. Uh, Yeesh. Right? Yeah. I love Lich fursuits so much. Sarcasm. So much sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. I just noticed you have saw earrings. Yes. That is the coolest shit I've ever seen. Um, so these are from a pack at Spencer's of just a bunch of tools. Oh. And there were, there's two of each. So there's like two hammers, two, um like pliers and there was two hacksaws mm -hmm. and what I did with these is I broke one of them so oh one my of god them is Adams and the other is Lawrence's my heart that's um, so good and I I didn't think about this until after I because the the hammers were on longer chains I was like I'm gonna put one of the hacksaws on a longer chain mm -hmm. so it can so we have a little bit of it's amazing I love that Since so much. Since he's, he's still chained up in the bathroom. Allegedly. 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 Says the copers. Listen, unless... I'm I've never seen unless... I've never seen more cope. And I've seen a lot of cope out there. I've never seen more <laughs> cope than the fandom of a man that died on screen violently. Yeah. Uh, unless Amanda sat him back up <laughs> and he got shot in the other shoulder or in the stomach. That's not him. I have a question for you. What's up? Adam? Yeah. That's my gender, baby. Mm-hmm. Why? What's going on without him? Tell me about him. He, that, that bitch is dead. That bitch is so dead. And that's a good thing. Because the whole story would have been fucked up if he lived. What do you he, mean? Because he... He wasn't supposed to die, but the fact that he did shows so many flaws in Jigsaw's, like, planning of the bathroom. And, like, so many flaws in, like, later things like because if he died was it jigsaw's lived. fault because amanda's the dumbass that dropped the key on him there there's technically I, it's been a while since i've watched the like <clears> movies <throat> that explain the bathroom um but if adam had lived then people refer to uh like the characters <laughs> in the original saw as like um religious figures um, and Adam is, uh, not Adam, believe it or not. He's a sacrificial lamb. Oh, fuck. Um, and so, like, he had to die for there to be, like, um, to give Amanda backstory, uh, to give her humanity, um, cause she pity killed him. She should, she could have just let him go. She could have just let him go, but she didn't. My problematic queen. <laughs> um, I love her so much, but wow. I, I don't know if I ever want to watch Saw 3 again. I'm being so serious. Uh, yeah. It's the only one that I genuinely don't think I want to watch again. I want to watch all of them all the time. But Saw 3 was such an emotionally heavy experience. Mm -hmm. I It was too much. It's an excellent movie, but it was too much, and I don't want to see that shit again. Yeah, it's... 
Uh, the first three are so good. They're so good. Um, but yeah, I think that if Adam had lived, then um, the story would have gone in such a different direction. Because there would have been either there would have been two options for him. They either kill him, or he becomes an apprentice. Hmm. I don't think he have it in him. He wouldn't have it in him. He wanted and like the if Adam that, lived, the whole operation would be over by the oh, first movie. Yeah, he would have told. Yeah. No, he would have. Um, Justifiably so, by the way. Yeah. But I love my problematic characters. Let them keep being problematic. Yeah. Speaking of, actually, uh, what's your favorite trap, not including the bathroom? And alternatively, what's the one that you would want to wake up in the most? For whatever justification. I think my... uh, I really think my favorite trap is the rack. Um, it's a it, it's it's a classic choice, but for good reason. Yeah, it's 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 just got such a cool design. Again, religious imagery. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, not even just with like her essentially look like looking crucified, mm-hmm. but uh, the ribs <clears throat> being pulled out to. Am I thinking of the? Right Are you thinking thing? of the rack or the angel? No, I'm thinking of the angel. What's the? Well, I don't know. I don't think it's actually called the angel. I just called it that because I'm. Used, I thought. I thought. I thought when I was watching that one, I got so excited. Cause I thought it was gonna be a blood angel, like like they did in Hannibal, um, and I was very ready to see that. But it, it, the rack, the rack is the one where it's the guy that's also in the cross, but it's oh, twisting his shit. Yes, it's the guy that ran over the main character's kid. Right. Yes. Uh, I've been thinking of the angel then. The one with the ribs. Yeah. The that shit ribs. is so cool. That shit is so cool. I wish um, it went further. I I, I, do. I really wish it went further. I think it's such a visceral thing to see, and it's realistic mm-hmm. because, like, it wouldn't be this oh. fucking horrific bloodbath. But like, still, all of the traps <clears throat> in the original Saw movie, in any of the Saw movies, I think, are real. Like the reverse bear trap, that is real. Mm-hmm. Like Shawnee Smith had the pieces in her mouth, and if it was actually hooked up to an air compressor, like it was whenever they show it on the, the floor. Um, the floor, the mannequin head, it would have worked. <laughs> Which is terrifying. That there's like, you know what? Let's just actually make this. Because we're going we're gonna to need it. Like, hey, Shawnee. You let's... could use it. That's a thing that could yeah. exist. Yeah, like someone could easily make that. Someone could, like they, they did for the movie, hook it up to an air compressor. They just didn't have it hooked up while Shawnee Smith was wearing it. So they didn't like, kill her. <laughs> um... The rat or the angel also like completely real. Uh, any of the traps that they have like to lay in, they'll like shoot the shots of them like being there and then tr- change it out for um, like prop, mm-hmm. uh, prop or like CGI or something. God, um, are you coming to my show on March sixteenth? Yes, probably. Okay, the night. Mm. Should I spoil something that I'm planning? <sighs> What? Cut the recording! Cut the recording! No one that's listening to this is going to my show. Let's be so serious. I'm coming. I'm gonna try my best to wear a reverse hair, reverse bear trap during my performance. Oh fuck yeah! Are you I, gonna make one? No, I found one on Amazon. Okay. It's like a rubber mask, but I don't have it in me right now to build a reverse bear trap. I, I mean, I, I don't have I've fucking been time. Thinking about making one out of cardboard. Okay. If I. If you end up doing it, let me know. Yes, I will, of course. Because I, I want more Saw shit mm-hmm. uh, for, for my for my Sawtism shelf. Sawtism? How yeah. have I never thought about sawtism. or said that or heard that? Sawtism. You're not I on have saw, Sawtism. You're not on Saw Twitter, baby. I'm trying to. I had the commission. Well, Saw Twitter has been dead for the past few days. Like Adam. I forgot. Was the angel one the one that you said was your favorite? Mm-hmm. So what's the one that you want to wake up in? Sorry, my septum got caught on my tab. Oh, you're good? Tab. Um, shit. Haha. Ha. I'm trying to think of, like, one that I could easily get out of. So that's the justification. Because I'm, I'm leaving it open to any justification. Like, whether it would be cool, it would look cool, I could get out of it. For whatever reason. <laughs> I think... <clears throat> I think if I had to wake up in one, I would wake up in the freezer trap. Oh my god, really? Um, as a, as a, like, like, 
But you wouldn't have any control on that. Iconic moment. Yeah, but I'm just a little guy. He'd have to save me. (laughs) I'm just a little guy. It would also fit with the whole Siberian thing. Yeah. Built different. Is that just what Tuesday is like up there? Yeah. Walk into the store. I don't don't fucking know. I know. (laughs) Um, But if, if... It depends on who I would be stuck in there with. The Fatal Five. Oh. Um... It, it completely depends on who I'm stuck in there with. Remind me of the Fatal Five. Fatal Five is the, the five traps in a row with the five people uh, that Hoffman put together to... Uh, Which movie was that in? Fuck. Five. I don't remember Five. Uh, I don't think I remember Five very well. Five is the Fatal <laughs> Five. It's the one where five people wake up and they're, they've got collars on being pulled back towards... Uh, essentially a guillotine. Whoa. And they have to, like, go forward and get a key out of a box, which they later find out all the keys were the same. It's oh, a, didn't they? It's trust. a thing where they, they had to work together, they but they didn't. They had to work together, And so the last didn't. people got fucked up because there was only two people that could do it? Yeah, the I last remember. two... Um, was that the blood one? Yeah, where the hand gets split all the way up the arm. Because they both have to... They have to give five pints of blood, I believe, which is, like... You can do it between two people, but it's also like not gonna be fun. Not gonna be fun. It would have kept bleeding. He didn't have to cut that far. Blood doesn't just stop if it's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to be all extra. Yeah. Fatal Five. It, that's probably my my favorite trap actually, just because it's. I have to rewatch Saw Five honestly. Oh, it's so good, and. We should watch um, a Saw movie. We should. I was debating watching a Saw movie while I work on this painting. I'd be down. Do you want to just stick around and watch Saw 5? Fuck yeah, I'm not doing anything. Let's do it! Um, (laughs) If you don't mind me painting. No, it is Saw 5. This interview took a beautiful turn. It is Saw 5. It makes sense if it was Saw 5. It's the Fatal 5. Fatal 5, and that's the one where Strong gets squished. Oh, I do. I remember yeah. seeing that. I don't remember any of the traps, so I'm excited. I have a very bad memory, so I can watch Saw movies and still get excited very often. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. I have popcorn here. Alright, fuck yeah. All right, I'm down. I like the direction this interview took. This is a, this has been a great interview. We know everything about Salve the Dog now. Every last thing. Any Every... last questions? Any last thoughts? I'm an open book right now. Um, you got me in a position of trust in my own environment. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, perfect. It's about to be an hour, too. This would At be that a... point, that would have been a great time to do, like, an explosion sound. That'd be funny. Like, I blew up, and then... The interview's done. That'd be very and this funny. This could be like the post interview after the while the credits are rolling. Be, yeah. yeah. Welcome, to, <laughs> welcome to the, the same brain cell right now. Yeah. We got it. No, no final, no final thoughts, no final question. No, I don't think so. Okay, we're I satisfied. Think, I, think, I think we've got everything covered. Now we know everything there is to know about Solve the Dog. Uh, there's no more interviews after this ever. That was no. everything. That's all my basis. Yep. All my basis. This is it. Well, thank you. This was very fun. Of I'm course. glad that I got interviewed is, by a bestie. This has been great. This, this has been, been very, great. very fun. Any plug that you want to do while you're here? Uh, I'm probably going to put this on my channel unless you want to put it on yours. I don't have a channel, so you can put it on yours. All right. So uh, you, you have... Follow me on Twitter, at Orion's Dog. Spell it. Spell it's it out. It's O-R-I-A-N-S-D-O-G. I might have that wrong. It might be a, That's a, it. an uppercase L instead of an I. I can find out. Or uppercase... I have no fucking clue. Um... It was already in my history. It pulled well, I'll be damned. Yep. Yeah. It's just a rhyme with an A. Nothing else. Okay, so... The fame, the creator of the fame to tweet, Hey babe, are we fucking hamburger or hot dog are style? Are we fucking hamburger or hot dog style? Do you freak with the jorts? Uh, <laughs> dog star. I'll do my little plug now if I may. Yeah, do your plug. I got an album coming out, My Teeth Will For You. I got one more single to release on the way, and then that shit is out, and then I'm never making sad music again. Hold me to that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. We're gonna go watch Saw 5. We're gonna go watch Saw 5. Thanks for listening, and thank you for interviewing me. Godspeed, everyone. Bye. Bye.